Hello, this is White Wolf up here in snowy Vermont with Waves of the Wild Institute. Now, as you can see, where I am right here is quite hilly. Pretty good bank going, not much flat ground. And it's kind of cold, so I want to get a little fire going. There's a couple things I need to remember when I'm lighting fire in the snow. And the details are the pretty foundation for any time you light a fire. You need to have the right fuel. You need to have the right location. You need to make sure that the location is safe for the fire so there's no falling snow or uh, any kind of uh, downpour potential that would uh, douse your fire. You want to make sure that the landscape that you're lighting your fire in will be safe from the fire. And also, you want to make sure that you're going to get the most out of your fire that you can. A lot of people will light fires in the middle of an empty field and think they have to light this gigantic bonfire to stay warm because all the heat is dispersing all around and escaping. There's no containment for the heat. So what you see right behind me here is an uprooted tree. And as you can see along the, uh, the banked landscape here, this tree faces up and down. The root bundle faces up and down. So what I have here is a nice big wheel. Now behind me is the west. So this tree is actually working out perfect because I want the fire to be protected from the winds that come out of the west and the northwest as much as possible. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to gather my, uh, my kindling. So I'm going to need tinder, I'm going to need my kindling, I'm going to need my uh, bundle wood, and then after I gather my stuff, I'm going to come back here and show you a few details.